Hi guys, this is App Unwrapper. I'm back with Assemble with Care. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to get through chapters 9 and 10. Enjoy! When my last job of the day brought me to Carmen's apartment, the door was opened by someone I didn't expect to see. Helena. Sorry for inflicting this mess on you. Carmen's never seen a knickknack she doesn't want to buy, apparently. Carmen's apartment was a little chaotic, but totally charming. It was easy to imagine her living in a place like this. It definitely wasn't Helena's style. She seemed more upmarket than flea market. I wondered why she was even here. We're having a clear out, or at least I am. Carmen's not helping, as usual. There's a market at the festival tomorrow. I'm selling some of these things to make her some money. She says she has nothing when there's all this stuff right under her nose. Helena stepped delicately past the items on the floor and reached down to pick up one from the pile. Look at this slide projector. Our parents treasured it, but Carmen treats it like a piece of junk. Can you take a look? light bulb is completely smashed. Okay, I'll need to redirect the light to the lens at the top for the projector to work. Oh, typical. Carmen's even managed to get a slide stuck in here. I was so excited when I moved to the city. Carmen, she looks so sad. Here's the clicker you'll need to attach. God knows how Carmen broke that as well. When we were younger, Carmen was always following me around. somehow. I suppose she looked up to me. A cool older sister. She used to ask me when I was coming home. But I was always too busy.
screws still need to be put back. Helena was transfixed, staring at the two young sisters the projector had brought glaringly into focus. I... I never meant to let her down. But you haven't, have you? You came all this way just to help with the cafe. Plus the money. <sighs> That's the problem. There is no money. I lost my job a few months ago. My savings are almost gone. I have nothing. Common things. I'll throw my checkbook at her bad decisions and make them okay. But I can't. Not this time. You know, the funny thing is, I came here wanting to tell her the truth. But she's so infuriating. How can I ask her for help when all she cares about is herself? Helena fell silent shrinking under the gaze of her younger self, projected onto the wall. We drifted so far apart when I moved away. It felt like the only thing keeping us together was my bank balance. I know I have to tell her the truth, it isn't fair. But I already lost everything else. <sighs> what if I lose her too? The day of the festival finally came, and after all my hard work, I was ready to put down my tools and pick up a fork. The smell as I entered the main square was incredible. Each stall was selling food even more delicious than the last. The competition would start any minute. Most stall holders were waiting anxiously for the mayor to pay them a visit. All of them, that was, except Carmen, who was still frantically chopping vegetables and stirring pots. Maria! Thank God you're here! Can I ask you the world's biggest favor? Helena was supposed to help me run the stall today, but she never turned up. Probably too ashamed to show her face. I can't believe she lied to me! Carmen was stirring so furiously, she was in danger of tipping the pot over altogether. The mayor will be here any minute for the judging, but I'm almost out of my special. She wasn't really going to ask me, was she? Not on my day off. I have a stove ready to build and everything. Can you set it up and make me a spare batch? It all fits. Now to light the gas. Oh, her recipe is a bit smudged. Never mind, I'm sure whatever I put in will be fine. I think that pot is really boiling now. Smells great, if I say so myself. Here are the ingredients that Carmen's given me. What to add first? All right, so it says, pint of stock, we did that. Four, quarter stick of carrot, uh, no, quarter stick of butter, rather. So, grab a chunk of butter. Uh, half a carrot. So I estimate this to be half a carrot. Um, two, three broccoli florets, I think. Two, three. Let's say two. Um, 
handful of chopped tomatoes. That looks good. I'll scoop a spoonful when I'm ready to serve. Uh, three wild mushrooms. And plenty of onions, I think. Part done, Carmen took over and added the finishing touches. It was just in time, and a moment later, Joseph arrived with Izzy in tow. Carmen anxiously handed them both a serving. That was so tasty. Can I have some more, please? Well, you've certainly earned yourself a loyal customer in my daughter. We have a few more meals to taste, but so far you are one of the best. Good luck. Joseph and Izzy looked so happy together. Maybe the festival was doing them some good after all. Carmen, on the other hand, seemed annoyed. But why, when it had all gone so well? I wish Helena was here to see this. She's so convinced I'll never succeed at anything. She wants what's best for you. She's just not very tactful about it. Yes, I, I, know, I know, I know. Even when I was a kid, she pushed me when no one else did. I just wish she hadn't lied to me. But then, I've asked so much of her over the years, I never stopped to think how much she actually had to give. Okay, so that's chapters 9 and 10. I'll be back with 11 in the next video. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks, bye-bye.